although ski jumping obviously conforms to the principle that what goes up must come down, that doesn't hold true in the light of modern scientific achievement. Today, in the midst of the space race, such things as a state of weightlessness are common knowledge. What is probably not fully realized, however, is the preparation involved in firing even a relatively minor missile, like the surface-to-surface -surface corporal. Here at the Royal Artillery Guided Weapons Range in the Outer Hebrides, British and American forces are afforded facilities to perfect their knowledge of modern armaments. The fore section of the missile, which, as you can see, is packed separately and fixed to the main body shortly before launching, is capable of carrying up to 1,500 pounds of warhead. The complete missile is 45 feet long and weighs five tons. The two fueling liquids, aniline and red fuming nitric acid, achieve such a terrific explosive force when combined that fueling is dangerous and is carried out in two stages. The space-like suits of the fueling party being decontaminated before the second stage is undertaken. On firing, high pressure air will be released and will drive the aniline and acid into the rocket motor where they'll catch fire spontaneously on meeting. Getting the rocket into a transportable position is achieved by means of remote control, thus minimizing risks and promoting the speed of the operation. Eventually, taken to its launching pad, the corporal stands bereft of its army of ant-like workers, grim and menacing.